All right, this is just a quick screencast demonstrating how I use uh, Vim to edit closure code. So I have created a an empty uh, project called Fire that uses the Linegen app template. So first thing I will do is uh, start up the Linegen repo here in the right pane. It takes a couple of seconds to start up and then it will tell us uh, where on our machine um, this repo is running. So it says localhost 59930. So now in the left pane, we can start up Vim. And let's open up the core file there. So this uses the Fireplace plugin to talk to the REPL on the right hand side. So in Vim, we can now hit CPR, which will reload the current namespace and tell us if it compiled correctly. So let's do CPR. And now at the bottom, it says that it did just that and that it worked. So we can now go ahead and start evaluating some expressions. So let's do plus uh, one, two, and three. And then anywhere <coughs> in that form, we can do CPP. And that evaluates to six, which you can see right at the bottom of the screen. So that's great. So usually, closure takes quite a long time to start the JVM and load the closure.core namespace and so by using this system you can uh, basically get around that and have a very fast feedback when you're coding. So that's great this works for um, extended like basically anything in the current namespace so if you write a function called square and uh, it takes a single argument x and that basically just squares that um, so you take this and then you can Again, reload the current namespace with CPR, and then you can square something squared of three with CPP is nine. So that works just great. Uh, what's next? The next thing is that uh, uh, Fireplace gives you uh, quite a few niceties to interact with the Clojure ecosystem. So right here, we see that we're using the trim function from the closure.string namespace, which is loaded at the top. And so this works just as expected. It trims off the uh, space at the end. Uh, <clears throat> but what um, Fireplace allows us to do is take a look at this S and see, well, we would like to see where actually, let's just look at the file. So we can hit GF for go file, and here we are. We are right in the closure string namespace, and we can inspect that. So there's all the beautiful stuff there. So okay, let's just go back. <clears throat> Next thing we can do is look up documentation. So let's say you're writing something and you have no idea how to use the reduce function. So you type out the, the word reduce, and then you hit capital K on that. And there, at the bottom of the screen, it will show you what arguments it takes and what it does and how that works. This is super handy. Just, if you need a refresher, you don't need to go to the browser and all that. <clears throat> um, you can also view the source for this function by hitting the left square bracket and then D, like this. So that just shows you there at the bottom um, the source. This one isn't particularly interesting, but sometimes it's quite fun. So there. And the last thing I wanted to show was uh, the macro expansion utility in Fireplace. So here's a stupid little macro called macro called silly, which just inserts this form. It um, generates the symbol, gives this a count of one to three. Basically, it's done. So then you go and use this um, use this macro, and you want to see what it actually expands to. So you can hit CMM for macro uh, expand and it will tell you right at the bottom what that will look like. Again, if you're just trying to figure out how your macro should work, this is super handy. So there, um, that's Fireplace and there are also some other niceties like the um, syntax highlighting and indenting and all that and of course the Vim as expression plugin which gives you the nice um, uh, lisp uh, editing. So, like parroted stuff, when you enter enter a, uh, a parenthesis, it gives you the other one. Or if you have a form like this and you want to insert something to the bot to the front of the list, you can hit uh, uh, local leader I, and you can just add stuff here. 
and so on. So yeah, there's that, and that's all for me.